Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. Today, we're discussing the Blancpain 50 Fathoms Bathyscaphe Chronograph in Black Ceramic. You can see and you can purchase this high beat full ceramic case flyback diving chronograph on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this watch with additional accessories included in the sale, high resolution images for your desktop, and actually complete pricing details for this Blancpain 50 Fathoms Bathyscaphe flyback chronograph. Now, launched in 2013, the Bathyscaphe line was described by some as effective but not emotional, maybe a little too austere. The bottom line is that the watch wound up competing with rivals from Blancpain's staple mate at Swatch Group, the Omega brand, and it was in 2014 with the arrival of the chronograph that the Bathyscaphe line, reborn from a name first used in the 1960s, began to come into its own in the modern era, and this may be the most imposing and impressive version of the definitive Bathyscaphe of the modern era, the flyback chronograph. Full black ceramic, the watch measures 43.6 millimeters, from extremity to extremity as measured across the bezel. Now that's not inclusive of crown or crown guards or chronograph pushers. In terms of thickness, it's fairly reasonable. 15.4, it'll slide underneath a sport jacket or a blazer or a sweater sleeve, perhaps not the tightest dress cuffs, but then again, a watch this stark isn't really for formal occasions. What I will say though is that under 50 millimeters, 49.6 from lug to lug in lightweight ceramic, this is a watch that can be worn on a smaller wrist like my 16 centimeter forearm. Now, I would say down to about 14 and a half, 15 centimeters in circumference, you can be able to wear this watch with proportion and security. And because the strap does pull straight down, it's not constrained, it doesn't flare out, it's not pinned against the case flank. Ergonomically, an excellent watch. Short lugs, a strap that pulls straight down, lightweight, no hot spots or pressure points on the case back. The strap is bolstered sailcloth, very rugged, but also surprisingly pliant for something this tough. On the underside, it has a rubber lining such that we've come to see on modern Blancpain and Zenith references. Regardless of whether you consider it to be a boon for durability, separating the strap from oils and moisture of the wrist, or comfort, supple and soft against the skin, this is an outstanding addition. Now the buckle is a simple Blancpain pin buckle for easy on-the-fly adjustment. The case of the watch is spectacular, as it features strong character lines wrought in nearly indelible ceramic. Ceramic not just very light on the wrist and hypoallergenic, but if you remember the PVD and DLC watches of the 2000s that looked awesome until they got their first scratch, then they looked awful, this is the total antidote to that phenomenon. First, it is homogenous, so even if you manage to scratch or chip it, there's just more black material underneath. More practically, it's so resistant to scratches that if you're not the type to scratch a sapphire crystal, you're not going to scratch one of these cases. It will look just as good in almost every instance as the day you brought it home. Now, it features the Swatch Group liquid metal bezel, which is to say the bezel itself is ceramic with a metallic insert that's actually bonded in the case of each index as well as the numerals, bonded to the ceramic to form one homogenous material that will never separate. Of course, there is a luminescent pearl within the bezel. You align it with the vintage baton syringe hand, and now you have a second zero to 60 minute timer to go with the chronograph functionality. You know, of course, the chronograph is of a flyback persuasion, so you can reset and restart it using just the trigger at 4 o'clock. That's a standard feature on the new Blancpain exclusive caliber F385. The dial is simple with white gold hands, white gold indices, a black base, and very little else. Unadorned, easy to read, with emphasis placed on the calibrations of chronograph hours and minutes over constant seconds. It also features a date for practicality. Now you can see on the case back, a movement that is shockingly deluxe in its specification and its finish for the sports watch class. This is the exclusive caliber F385 that debuted on the Bathyscaf chronograph. Automatic, it is a 50 hour power reserve. It does feature stop seconds a quick set for the date. It beats away at an El Primero like 36,000 vibrations per hour, so 10 beats per second, creating that preternaturally smooth sweep of the chronograph seconds hand. It also features a robust free-sprung balance architecture for easier 
adjustment, regulation, and then reliable retention of regulation in the face of bumps and vibrations on the wrist. Very accurate thanks to the high beat, very rugged thanks to the free sprung architecture. It's also a magnetic thanks to a silicon hairspring and you can see the automotive inspired driving wheel. Bump -a bump -a bump bump. For the chronograph mechanism, you can see the spokes very much like, for instance, a Lamborghini wheel. Start again, and note how smooth the engagement is. And note that it stops without stagger, always resets precisely to the index of 12. That lack of jump and smooth, precise reset is evidence of a vertical clutch, which has the additional virtue of allowing you to keep the chronograph engaged. So if you leave the chronograph engaged, there is no additional wear, tear, or hazard to the movement. And the column wheel, which you can actually see in the architecture of the movement on the case back, let's locate the column wheel. There it is. Column wheel means that this has a wonderful tactile and audible response as you, as you cycle the features. And I can actually show you the column wheel and the horns of the chronograph in action. Part of the pleasure of this traditional mechanism, the column wheel and the vertical clutch tandem is considered to be the purist's choice from an engineering standpoint in the world of high horology. You can see the blackened 18 karat gold winding mass and the standard of finish with mirrored englage at the edge of every bridge, every screw head polished with a chamfered slot. The execution of this movement is on a level that would be appropriate to the likes of Audemars Piguet, Vacheron Constantin, or Parmigiani Fleurier at their best. It's exceptional specification for a sports watch, especially one rendered in ceramic. This watch is packed with features, value, and ergonomics to make it appealing to a wide range of wrists. If you enjoy the idea of a diving chronograph, but you want one with an indelible surface, a light feel on the wrist, and an imposing wrist stance, you have to consider this Blancpain 50 Fathoms Bathyscaphe flyback chronograph.